support Pro Play Games on Patreon. But before we get into the video, we want to thank Ewin for sponsoring us. If you're in the market for an affordable and quality gaming chair, then look no further than Ewin. These chairs are made from quality PVC leather and extra dense foam padding, keeping them comfy, breathable, and durable. Not only that, every Ewin chair is super versatile, with height adjustable armrests, great neck and lumbar supports, and a deep range of backrest adjustability. It's almost impossible to be uncomfortable in these chairs. Not only that, but all Ewin chairs are designed with a super strong and stable base to keep you from rocking and rolling out of your chair. They can even support up to 500 pounds of weight. Seriously, these things are like really good. With a huge variety of styles, colors, and builds to pick from, there's a chair for you. Check out the link in the description and use code PBG to get 30% off your next purchase. And without further ado, let's get back to the video. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Ladies guys, and gentlemen. Finally here. Seven finals. rounds of Swiss. I think three, four rounds of Top Cut here. Yep. Tech Top 16. We are finally at the finals of Pro Play Games. Tour Origins Game Fair here. Very exciting. Uh, everybody that's joined the live stream, we're happy to have you here. And everybody that has been a part of the tournament today, thank you for coming out. But we are now down to two. Ladies yep. and gentlemen, we have seen both of these players on the live stream before. James Fraser, we just caught him last match playing his Tri Brigade, and we also caught Lucas Johnson here. Lucas is piloting that Altergeist with Dogmatica. Uh, Pac's got some money on that Dogmatica. Yeah, dude. Well, I, don't, I, don't I think know, I think Geist probably take it. It has a very favorable matchup against the Tri deck, so um, I I mean we'll see how it happens. I'll go against the grain, dude. I like that Bi Brigade deck. I, I really, and I, yeah, how about I, we make it interesting? You want a money match? Well, you want to put five subs on it? We'll bet five subs. I got you, bro. Five uh, subs. So we'll bet five subs. Yeah. All right, five. So I got the guys playing. If I lose, <laughs> five subs goes to Pac. If Pac wins, five subs goes to me. Yeah, right. yeah. All cool. right, you guys know how it is. All right, so uh, easiest five subs I've ever made in my life. But Ow. ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to be popping <clears throat> right into the final match. Again, it is an sure. untimed Yu-Gi-Oh match. We're going to be able to witness pro play Yu-Gi-Oh in its fullest extent. That's the most exciting thing. Both yeah. players can just take the time to focus on their plays. And uh, I think hopefully they make the most efficient. Sure. So, um... I don't know. I think we're, we're ready to get started. You got anything to say before we get into it? Nothing at all. Everybody. Let's have some uh, good fun Yu-Gi-Oh. If, uh, if any of you guys have any friends that aren't watching, try to get them to tune in. Yep. It's going to be an exciting last match here. Let's sure. get started with the finals of Pro Play Tour Origins Game Fair 2021. All right, guys. There it is. All right, so we get to see who won the die uh, roll here. But so, we'll uh, James won. James I asked, won? Yes. Okay. So, uh, Trevor oh, won the pick, dice roll. I didn't pick the picture, bro. I'm stupid. I got this on oh, the yeah. Don't worry. Professional finals, by the way. Don't worry, I just got to put the, the Mellow Seek up there. Hey. Hey. That's, uh, that was my boy at some That's point. That's your boy. <laughs> oh, so James turned out with the Foolish Sparrow. Nice. Really good consistency card. Um, especially with the Tanky to one, I think Foolish helps, like, serves a purpose as getting mm -hmm. you a couple cards. It's definitely not a one-card combo, but it, it helps you get there when you're lacking um, a way to play. Weird. It's like Foolish is at one or something like that. No, good card. It is a good card. Um, no, James, James, James is not. not the one on the Melfi. Yeah. The Melfi player lost in top... Eight to Aaron. Yes. Yep. All right, so we're we're seeing some moves being made. Fairwell's getting in an ad. Let's see what happens here. Uh, so let's pull their deck list up. We have right here James Frazier's deck list and Lucas. Johnson. All right, very cool. Man, James Frazier typing up his deck list, dude. What a G. That, that I is, that is pretty that smart. Thing. What's I going on? Just the game. The girl with the dragon are the original PC Weiss. That is 100% correct. Yes, that is the right ones, yes. Those Yo. are the good ones. Can I see an Imperium Faker one time? No. One time for the one time? Bro, in the finals, dude, I couldn't imagine. Uh, that actually did happen, I guess, in, like at the European qualifiers, mm. if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah. So, um, a little bit of glare on there, but it's all right. It's okay. We can tell you. We'll, we'll be able it's to update you guys what's it's going a on. on the it summit. is a kid. All right, let's see. <sighs> I've been seeing um, Lucas actually side Secret Village of the Spellcasters, which is, is fierce against Drytron. It's Nothing nice. good against this yeah. deck here because this deck, both of the players They literally play I.O., right? Yeah, like, yeah. It's like I.O. is just better. But like the thing is, like against Drytron, that's a lot. But like, yeah. uh, it, 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 we saw a lot of Drytron today. We, we didn't did. have a lot of it featured, but like I imagine that's um, part of how Lucas was able to take things to victory. You're just siding yeah. the three Secret Village. I, that's just a wrap from there. You play that thing. Um, yeah, when I saw Lucas, I was like, his his side deck wasn't that prepared for Dytron, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. um, I was looking over, I was talking to him, like, 
Um, like I would prefer to style like the deer cards and like the Dogmatica stuff if I'm going second to try because I mean not try I'm sorry into uh, Drytron because the cards just aren't that good right. Um, it's also siding Forbidden Jabba's in Alter Guys, which is kind of a weird. I, yeah, I think that's a little strange too because yeah. there's like nothing exactly you want to set. Like you don't break, you don't break the board, so like yeah. playing Jabba doesn't really yeah. isn't really that strong in my opinion. On the other hand, I'm looking at James' side deck and it's fierce, man. He be prepared heavily for yeah a lot of really prevalent matchups. I think here. 100. percent I think like a proper side deck is so important. Uh, and the majority of your games that you're playing is are sided. Literally sided. So yeah, yeah so that's like, why most people say like most games are won in the side deck. Yeah. Because if you have a really well built side deck, a really mm -hmm. good understanding of the meta, yep. it, you can definitely take full advantage of it. Ash there. Those altar guys players and those pot of extravagances, bro. We've seen it all day. Yes, sir. We've seen it. And all we see day. James are here making a very different board than normal. Um, what is that? Rugal kit pass. No, it's actually oh, that's double DDL, dragon. Yeah, but DDL. I think I think that's what one foolish does. Mm -hmm. One foolish by itself does uh, DDL. Mm -hmm. So there's Ecclesia, probably Ecclesia effect. So get activated here. Yep, there it is. Bam, right there in that call. Yep. So it might get striked. Striked. Yes, sir. Yeah, Strike is insane, dude. It I, is. I'm literally telling you. Very powerful. Oh my god! <laughs> accident ripped. Should have floated leave by accident. Um, so getting striked. I think it might go flutterly and then bait out the, the DDL. DDL. Yeah. It's going to force it out. I don't think it baits it out, but. Yeah. Like, you just go battle phase. Like. He accidentally like, revealed it. It's so funny because he only plays one and one, mm -hmm. and he keeps opening them. I know. Isn't that so unfortunate? Yeah. He opened it with the droplets in the last time he yeah. featured him. And it was lucky because he had Servant to add it back to him. Yeah. But and his hard drawn revolt. So it brings back two. Not bad. He gets follow up cards. Um, you probably just. Oh wait, no, he has more too. I think he changes end board just because of the it was a trap matchup, mm -hmm. and like bouncing the melee seek is so strong. Yeah. So. Shark's gonna be able to snipe one of these back rows here. Yeah. Also get you hella pluses. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't think Lucas is actually siding. I don't think he's siding or mating Ice Dragon's yeah. prison, which I feel like Ice Dragon's prison is really, really powerful right now. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So. What is that? Oh, Judgment. That's a really good hit. That, mm -hmm. I mean, like, that's really good for Lucas because Judgment is not really, like, it's not that great, actually, into this. Um, oh, into this, it's not that great. It's not no, that great, yeah. Like, even Karis, like, dodges Judgment, you know? Mm -hmm. So, that's, um, Lucas now has two back row. And the thing was, yeah. Let's see what happens next. Can't use Faker if you use IDP? Ah, makes sense, makes sense. Wait. Who why? Talk, who, wait, why? Who, who even said uh, no? Because figure locks you. But yeah. wait, did you mention IDP or? I mentioned IDP. Oh yeah, yeah, you can't. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was, that's one of that's then. one of the reasons why like you don't play IDP in Geist. Because you reason. get locked with Faker. Yeah, but that's oh, also okay. the that's also the same reason why I don't think Geist is a good trap deck because of that restriction. Yeah. Because like, IDP is one of the best. Is so yeah. powerful. One right of the now, best yeah. trap cards. There's the bear bum. The bear bum for two off of the kit, which survived the turn. So big it's, torrential here. Torrential. Torrential here. The thing is, he still has a normal summon. He still has a normal like, summon. He's so gonna get that I, I the search off of Shurik think, too. Yeah, and, and the Shurik banishes the other card. Yep. Because Shurik doesn't target, right? So oh well, yeah, I don't think he he didn't activate a Shurik yet. Oh, oh no, 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 he did. Okay, oh, okay just yeah. IO. That's like fine. That's yeah, that's fine. Then nothing against this matchup. I think he's still fine because the thing is, Lucas doesn't have a starter. Yeah. Yeah. So James is probably gonna win off this, to be honest. I imagine so. Yeah. Very powerful pickup mm -hmm. from there. So he literally has Kit going off, Bear Brum going off, and Shuri going off. The fact that he gets to get the Bear Brum again, I think, is the, the is, only the only thing is, so if he uses bad. Bear Brum though, he has to be careful because he's locking the Tri Monsters after. Uh, honestly, yeah, but it's like Alter Geist yeah. is not going to kill you. Yeah, and then so, you just set up another Revolt. You probably yeah, win, you right? Yeah, you just set the Revolt, and then during yeah. the end phase of the next turn, like what's Alter Geist gonna do? Summon Marionette or pass or something like that? <laughs> or can he hit you with the Revolt? You're yeah, true. Yeah, I think yeah, James just wins here. Yeah, the Revolt yeah. is clear. The fact that he gets deck. the Revolt yeah. and the Shuri is very powerful. Though, I think the only way Lucas gets back is he has to like rip extra into like two crazy cards. Yeah. Even then, it's not guaranteed. All right, all right. James resolving his chain links, getting his cards, searching some plays. Also, he can like, yeah. So there's the fractal. Um, and then Nerva also gets triggered on resolution as well. Oh, he's actually not using bear room. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's because I think he actually wants to kill him. I mean, yeah, because he can still normal summon. He hasn't used it. Yeah, I think he just wants to kill him. 
I think either way, James is just in a very commanding yeah. position right now. Yep. It doesn't matter what play he did. If he could kill him, this turned great. Yeah. But like, I think it, either way, it was a really good spot he found himself in. Yes, 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 yes. I, to be honest, the TZ went early, but if I was in Luke's position, you know what I would do? I would have to go 50-50 on the gamble and hope he doesn't banish my TT. Yeah. And have them, you know what I'm saying? Like, at that point, you got to play to your outs, right? Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, like, if you turn to here, you don't necessarily win. So you, you just you have to hope, like, James misses a 50-50, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you look at the board state right now, he's so far behind anyways. Yeah, you can't really block an attack with Knight because you can only during the main phase and you use the Axis code to pop it. Mm -hmm. So it's just game either way. Um, let's see what happens, though. All right, all right. Farage is going to get a special. Yeah, you, you can knight. As long as there's an extra on the field, you can knight. It's big another mix, misconception that you can't, that you cannot. Apparently, people think that you can knight when you don't have a phase here, but that's just no. not true. No, nope. just as long as there's an extra monster on the field. Yep. So, now we're going to see the banish. For the Karis here. Yes. Banish four. That's going to summon the Shuri again. I don't... You already searched off Shurig, right? I would have just banished yeah, three, to be honest. It wouldn't make a Ruble. Oh, no. Oh, oh three. Three. Oh, yeah. I counted wrong. Okay, so there's there's going to be the, the Deagle. Axis code, and that's his game. Yep. That does, in fact, that, That's why I'm saying you don't search with, uh, with Bear Rum. Yeah, with Bear Rum. Yeah. He's bending his cards every yeah. time he summons something to hurt the Well, you're not playing his cards, man, so. There it is, shuffling back the Ecclesia. I really uh, think that's a wrap. That, that's 4,800. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is game. You just try to go to battle. Yep. And then he's going to have to flip the lead. Then you make access code, right? Yep. Actually, you can just make access code with... You can use the the Karis and the, um, yeah. the Reservoir. Or whatever. The, the, the Deagle. Yep. Make the access code. That's exactly. just... That's, that's, that's over game, That's yeah. it. Yep. Rag like all knows about bending cards. Game two. Especially that. Yo, Herman. You're banned. No. <laughs> you're banned, bro. I, I, I got it for you. Don't worry. All right, bro. No worries, man. 560 message, bro. He's a dedicated fan, Easy. bro. And he ain't going to be a dedicated fan for a little bit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. Shout out to Gage, knowing exactly what to do here. <laughs> oh. All right, so game one. James takes it, man. I'm already that five. Oh, that yeah. five gifted subs is already looking tasty. That's Let me tell you, man. For Let me, me tell you. Looking real nice. Hello, go. everybody. We are here for the Otacon 2021 Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament, representing Pro Play Games here today. everyone to the finals of the Otakon Yu-Gi-Oh! Extravaganza. Two decks in our final. Drytron, Adagnister. Yep, scooping yep. it up. And there it is. Two. Wow. Quick game one Timothy, for Timothy. With, the, with the unbreakable board game one to be able to easily scoop it up. James has been playing out of his mind this event too, man. I feel like he's been playing really stellar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he's been playing nice for sure. But yo, honestly, I feel like the dogmatic cards literally lost Lucas. Yeah, yeah, he keeps opening them. Yeah, he keeps Both opening them, them and, so every, and every time he opens them, like he doesn't win. Yeah, so I'm like, hundred percent like, would rather see that in a dear servant, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's why, like, I was like, jeez. Honestly, I think like if I think. I would prefer to play duality in Lucas's deck because I think like consistency is very important. Like him not seeing his Ultraguys engine is literally like causing him this game. Mm -hmm. Maybe even over Nadir to be honest. The duality. Yeah. So underrated. So oh, yeah, card. yeah, man. So weird that the card. Okay, again, another one of those cards released so long ago yeah. and it's just so powerful. Exactly. So they right open a rivalry, then Duck Matica cards? Literally. See ya. See you guys. Yep. Have a good night. No worries. Thank you. All right, all right. 
Shuffling up. Let's go game two, baby. We Again, untimed two. finals here, so they just they have to take it easy. You know, make sure their decks are fully randomized. They get to take their time with the plays. All right, all right. Bro, this cake is calling my name, man. I can't Yo, wait. Yo, honestly, it, I'm it, down to dig that cake <laughs> after. Sheesh, that looks so good. All right, let's go game two, baby. Look, I'm 100%. I'm willing to bet money. Lucas is going first. Weird. Yes, sir. Weird. All right. All right. Guys, possibly cannot lose, right? Especially yeah. if he's sizing like no the... Way. Ain't no way, bro. I mean, like, I'm, 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 James plays uh, twin, but he doesn't play a lot, so he only has yeah. twin as his well, only Well, I mean, last game he saw double twin because he's just the greatest. That's true. So, I mean, it's, it's possible. All right. The servant to start. Servant to start. Okay, wow. Okay. Might get Ash here, to be honest. Nope. Let's nope. go through. No Ashes. All right, all Dump right. of choice is probably the Titanic Clad, I'd imagine. Oh, no, no, no. no. Yeah, Titanic That is Titanic Clad, yep. Get that flirt to Lee later. Hello, Ecclesia. Lovely. Nope, some Ecclesia. Yeah, you know what the other weird thing about like Dogmatica cards is? They kind of conflict with like your Geist cards too because you can't normal summon uh, Ultra Geist cards now if you like normal Ecclesia. If you normal Ecclesia, yeah. Yeah. Like Damn. only way it works if you open with Melting. Oh my God, James has seen Gamma. I know, right? That literally so every good, every game, every hand. Could you imagine? Gamma's a one of the OCD bro, yeah. for a reason. That card yeah. is so, so powerful, insane. bro. Like just crushing the the Ecclesia here is so powerful. So now um, Lucas isn't gonna be able to guarantee get a punishment. Does he only there. set one? There ain't no. Oh my God, oh. he's gonna pat. Oh, Secret wait, village. he doesn't have a spellcaster. He does, because oh, face it, the, yeah, the, Titanic could get the flirtily. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Summon flirtily, yeah. Unfortunately, though, that's like, why would, why would you side Secret Village against this matchup? I feel like I think he's just afraid of, really, of Twin. I think he's If that's like the twin. only thing he's afraid of, but he's only got yeah. one back row, though. You gotta think you're trading good back row cards for a card that stops Called by the Grave, Fire Formation, Tanky, Foolish Burial, and Pot of Desires. That's it. Yes, sir. And the only extra cards in are Twin. Yep, and, and, yeah, and Twin. That's it. That's the only Oh, my God. Normal Summon Rescue Cat. Powerful. That trap card better be able to stop it. Nope. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Stop the normal summon. Good Very start. Very strong here. Good start. Um, I would like to see like maybe a wind Pegasus. Right? Wind Pegasus. I think that's what he ended up dumping. There. Nice. Oh, and Faker on Res. Wow. Very powerful. Yes, that was that. Was, that is, that so is good. what Lucas needed there. That's exactly what yep. he needs to get back into the game. Yep. And he can't even tactics to punish this. Nope. I don't even think he plays tactics, but. I, I get the I get the sentiment. Yeah. No way! Oh, oh James God. is insane. I was gonna say now he's got to follow up. He has to have Karis plus a pitch, and he he had it. Karis yep. plus an herbal. Just bounce that back up, right? And yeah, so. it's a good thing that Faker was in Lucas's hand, because otherwise I felt like this would have been a wrap. It would have been a wrap. That would have been sure, just game. Yeah. Silk gonna bounce back. You can say you can have it back, bro. No problem. Yep. Nervo now resolves. I don't, even know, I don't even know how like James plays out of this. Oh, I don't he, think he no. might. He might have hard drawn revolt. So oh, if he did, that's nasty. Yeah. If he did that, that's crazy. I, no, if he did, I feel like he would add fractal here because then he could load up his graveyard. Yeah. So I, I feel like adding the kit is like a clear thing that he doesn't have revolt. Because now what? He only has two. Two. Yeah. Two in the graveyard. Oh, the oh other extra my yeah. goodness gracious! Literally Top pot deck extra, bro. Literally pot of Lucas is, and now just as it was looking a little brim there, if uh, he didn't have the right answer, Lucas looks like he's taking a big leap in the head in this game now. One, two. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Better be two trap cards, bro. He better be seeing some purple. He needs to see purple. It's only a failure way. on the silk, I think that was. No, no, wait, no. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping, bro. You glasses white, bro. I do. Okay, hold on. Let me get you one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, never stop being dirty. Oh, that's just my my glasses, bro. They're fogging up. Whew. What a long day. This is insane. Oh my god. Normal summon faker. Attack, attack, attack. All right, get in there. I think he drew more monsters. 
As unfortunate as that is, he's actually in a pretty good spot still. Uh, it's one bounce, but Frazier has like another. Uh, he has another way to get the Karis. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, oh, he needs to like draw like yeah, he, he needs like traps, like literally right. traps. This is why like monsters are terrible. Well, like when you're playing a trap deck, I mean. Oh my god, you have to set. Oh my god, did he not? He's bouncing back a set card. Honestly, that, if that's not real, that's a really good bait. Yeah. I would have done it in battle phase so you don't lose to Baylor. I don't know why you would. Strike. Strike. Yep. That's fine. That's gonna actually remove the. Yeah, I mean, wow. He took a lot of damage though. Yeah. James took a 3k. 812. Yep. So that's like three. That's he's at 1500. So that's one pass. So he little his part of extra literally drew only one trap. That's so bad. That back uh, yeah that back row has to be something fierce. There's another yeah. Karis coming down here. Wow. Yeah, it if it's strike, he's in there. So strong. Yep. And then we're gonna get the Karis trigger here. Mhm. Mm okay, let's see what happens. All right. If, if the trap is real, then he gets two disruptions, and, and like Tri can't play through two disruptions. So we're still fine. It could be another punishment. It could be. That would actually be really, really. Insane. I, wonder, I wonder what it is. I, I'm curious too. I'm just. Uh, we have to wait and see when it gets flipped up. It has to be real. Not being able to use spells is crazy though. I feel like is it James, though? I, I feel like James has like some stuff. He probably has like either a twin or a tanky or something, you know. I guess if he has pot of desires, he's literally doing nothing in his hand right he's, now. Yeah, some of the fractal. He's gonna normal summon fractal. Okay. Okay, so he uses normal summon and he has special summon the care so far. All right, this trap card needs to be real, or else it's gonna be not looking too good. Nothing here. Yeah, if it's spoofing, that's so bad. So that it's is only bad. One, that's only one disruption. Yeah, you know? if it's spoofing, that's a, that's not gonna cut it. I don't think. Mm, I don't even know if Torrential could do it, dude. Not Torrential yeah. would probably do it here, because Torrential is really powerful at this spot, because he already special summoned the Karis. Yep. Bear Brum? Bear Brum. Even if it's Torrential here, bro, it just doesn't feel good, because you get that revolt, and it's like, how do I, where do I go from here? Yeah, literally. Oh, spoofing. spoofing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. It's probably just spoofing. And you can, like, bounce back Bear Brum, and that would actually, like, That would be really, 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 really strong. But, like, the thing is, you can just summon it back again. Nah, he doesn't have enough. He only has one tri-beast left in Does the Does he only have trouble? Yeah. I, can't, I can't tell with the glare. Yep, yep. It's one tri-beast in the set. This, this, the card in the glare is a... Who cares? Oh, okay. So this play actually... not. This play is actually really nice because he's going to bounce back to Bear Brum and he doesn't have enough beast cards in the grave. But no, he can actually use Fractal Effect and then use uh, Karis yep. again. Yep, because so. you can use Fractal on the field. A lot Fractal of people forget that. It's not yes. just a pitch from hand. You can use him on the exactly. field too. And since he's already banished with the Fractal, you just, okay, get, get rid of it. And then he got a Karis and then... Yep. I think he's living large. Yeah. I think also like searching concrete here is really insane. If he searches concrete, he can negate the other one, so he can't really, like um, James cannot attack. There we go. Activate the fractal. Looks like. Yeah, you can just fractal and use Karis. Yeah. Yep. Lucas keeps looking at his hand. I'm curious if he got a hand trap in there. He's been holding on to. No, he probably drew like really bad to be honest. Because like his pot of extra, I've only drew one card. I think does Lucas even play Meister? Does not. He doesn't play any. No, hand he traps doesn't play any. Except hand traps. Imperm. He doesn't even side any hand traps either. Yeah. So nothing to worry about here. I mean, impermanence, I guess, but it's not live. Yeah. Second so Floyd doesn't play it. Alright, this is gonna be really bad. 1984, to be honest. Yo, what's up, Herman? <laughs> yo, honestly, yo, Gage is the one who banned you, Kappa. 
Alright, let's see what happens here. Um, this is rough. Yo, know, James, Google me, Fraser. <laughs> Alright, alright. Now, James is gonna have to figure out the ways to navigate through the rest of the board. I think he just gets another. He just makes like bear, but probably gets another revolt, right? I mean, try I to think play so. that yeah, way. I think so. Yeah. Because again, revolt's just so powerful. Yeah. And then, like, you can attack in the silk, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, no, he's concrete. Never mind. I think Luke is in a good position, so. Oh, yeah. Because you need a clear spoof, or a spoof just goes infinite. All right, all right. James deep in thought here, trying to figure out the most optimal play here. He's trying to figure out how to use his carries correctly. Able to take his time to no rush here in the finals. Yes, no exactly, rush. exactly. Have a games on our hands, guys. Jack, give me a one if you're enjoying this match, if you're enjoying this final match. I'm actually really into it. Yeah, it looks good. It feels like it's closer than uh, it looked maybe. Yeah. There is the DDL coming down. Not one, but two Dragon Lords. Yes, sir. Bow. Attack over the cell. 1600 attack. Yo, did he not search Conquery? That's, I that's, don't know. that's I, a I, huge I, misplay. Yeah, yeah. One of those in his hand has to be a Conquery, I feel like. How many does he play? He plays one. He plays one. Well, like, you search Conquery there, right? And yeah. then, like, Conquery stops an attack and negates. Um, oh, yeah. oh, there it is. It stops the attack and it gets the DDL. Mm -hmm. Very strong. Very huge at that point, actually. Mm, okay. Alright, there we go. Country effect. Here you Negating go. the DDL. Perfect, perfect. Still deep in thought, trying to figure out what the play is. Go to game three. Let's yep, go, baby. It Let's go. Luke wow, is coming back three. from seemingly nothing. We thought when he didn't draw any purple cards off his yeah. uh, his extra, it was just over. But no, it was enough. Honestly, the faker. That Luke is faker was enough. There's a reason these guys are in yeah. the finals, bro. Luke is able to play through that in the untimed finals here. One, I, going one to bounce, stop the tripod. Game three, bro. Game three. Love to see. Guys, it. three game three is about to be nice. Oh man, I'm sweating now, bro. I might have to owe this guy five gifted subs. Yes, I can't sir. imagine, dude. Oh be God. Broke. Yes, sir. Let's see evenly faker once one can dream, bro. One can faker dream. evenly. I not no cap. I have done that a fair share amount in my in my old life. It's just because you're built different, bro. You know you know how I get. Looking to earn your invite to a cash prize pro play tour invitational? Well, why not attend the Pro Play Tour Qualifier at your local game store? Participating stores can host PPT qualifiers with their official Pro Play Tour kit purchasable from our website. We have kits available for Yu-Gi-Oh!, Dragon Ball, Digimon, and Card Fight Vanguard. Earn some exclusive swag like limited top cut, play mats, and PPG dice along with your 2022 Invitational Invite. Want to host a Pro Play Tour qualifier of your own? Visit ppgeventmanagement.com slash qualifiers to learn how your local game store can qualify to host an invitational qualifier today. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Who's going to take it? I don't know. It depends. Lucas's like side deck is kind of like, it's pretty, it's like really going to try. His side deck is really going to try. And like James doesn't have a really like his side deck is not, not really that good. He's got twins. Games. That's about it. Yeah. It's only twin. So like. Then again, if he sees it though, that could, that could get him. Yeah. Like, twin twin does work. Twin plus kit. He's I had it all. Yeah. Game. He's had I it think all like day, um. Man. I think Luke is an easy win this tournament. Oh man, I don't. You are just attached to those guys, bro. Like his his side deck is really well tuned for this matchup. That's why. Like I think like. So look, just comparing side deck wise, I just think Lucas has a better side deck for the matchups that they're in. Um, 
Also, like, yeah. yeah he needs to sell out the right cards, though. That's the, that's the biggest thing. Oh, man, I just can't wait, bro. I want these guys to get in the last game here. I'm very excited. Oh, yeah. We've seen some we've seen some good matches all day, bro. Actually, it's been it's been an incredible day yeah. to uh, to witness some Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Yes, Especially after a new ban list, you know, new new Megatons come Megatons, out. Megatons, nice. Yep. Very exciting to see what people brew up with everything. I'm still I'm still surprised we only saw Crossout Designator activated one, one time. Literally one time the entire tournament. Right? One time the literally entire once, tournament. Yeah. Bro. yeah, blows my mind, dude. Imagine a card everybody was hyping up, everybody freaking out over it, nobody playing. Yeah. And again, it could be the fact that people don't have it yet. That that is a very real possibility. Very like, real possibility. I'd like to yeah. think like anybody that came here to win was yeah. having copies of their deck or they were, unless you're packing, you just think the card's bad, bro. But, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, what am I saying, man? Uh, All yeah. I know, dude, is I got those three cross out dizzies that are going into my tri break gate day. Uh, right cross out some away. cheeks, yeah, you're right not. Away. <sighs> I'm never losing to Gamma ever again. Never ever. Gamma D's. Lose the Gamma? Never, never. Never, never, never. Never, never. Don't forget the Bev. Never, never. Oh, I can't wait to see James summon a Shorg, a Shorg. Very cool. All right. Going into game three. Yep. <laughs> Highly going to expect James to go first <sighs> here. See what kind of board he can set up with. Again. Yo, are we going to see an Evelyn Faker? You no, down? Dude, I am. Oh, my God. I'll lose my shit, bro. I, we will end the stream. Evil Lee Faker Imperm. Because you just know one who won at that point. It looks like a fractal coming out here. Oh, that's a really good opening. Yep, always is. Very, very good opening here. Only way it could get better if James just summons a Rescue Cat. Bottom of ours, strong. That's also like crazy. Yep. These guys are getting ready. They're shuffling their decks. They're doing a little bit of siding. Is this Trizu? It is not. It's not. It is not. Most all tri players at top, I think, played Rescue Cat version. Yes, friends, please remember that Tanky is at yeah. one. I cannot tell what that normal summon is. It is a tri brigade. Here we go. Imperm come. Oh my god, please pair with the faker. Please oh my God. pair yeah. with the faker. No faker. Okay, faker. well, whew, whew, man, crisis averted. Oh, man, faker. Oh, no faker. Oh, Still? You got, got faker. I would have. I know. I was going to lose it, man. Still, Imperm on, uh, yeah. on the summon, though. Big, big, big. Hell James going to set? Could very well be a rebolt. He decides not to do anything here. I don't know if there's anything he can do. There's no reason I'll to watch. make Almirash. No reason because he already used a kit effect. Oh, that makes sense. So now it forces whenever um, Lucas goes oh to battle, God. he's going to be able to get... So good it's been so good, dude. Un unreal. I mean for James, for James. So crazy. I'm sure it's been... I mean, all day. I'm, I'm sure Lake Strike has been nuts all day. Yeah. Set three? All right. It's game time, baby. Let's play. Yeah, let's go. Cool. That's really good. I, James might have a twin, though. He might. He might. And he probably didn't set it. Oh, he, probably, <laughs> he probably didn't, like, even set twin to play around Melly Suit, so... Mm -hmm. Protocol probably. flip up right away. Oh, summoning Faker. I guess he drew Faker for turn. Is it six, right? Oh, no. You, what, what does he have? Oh, he might have Conquery. Oh, he could. He could have Conquery, yeah. Watch one of those other be spoofing yeah. or something. I think maybe it's not. Why did he flip it up? Oh, I know why I flipped it up. I got you. You know why? He has another. He has two protocols set. He has two oh, protocols set. Oh, there's the twin. There's a twin. There's I told you. I told you to call this twin. There's two protocols. Strike. Oh, see, I told you. It's two strike protocols. Protocol? Yeah. yeah, strike protocol. Why, why was that the case? So you have to flip it up early because if you... If, because you can do you protocol and protocol, but one has to be already faced up. Okay, okay. Yeah. See, I told you. All right, so... Nah, that was just a game. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if... It's a game? I think... Oh, he still has the kit on the field that he could just... Yeah, kit. I mean, no, you just make Almirage. Yeah, you just make Almirage, and then yeah. you uh, dump, and then you, yeah. you get in there, and you haven't even normal summoned yet. So. Yeah. You can't chain protocol, chain protocol. Why? Because if you go chain link one monster effect, you can't just chain link two protocol to flip it up and chain link three protocol because the last thing on the chain won't be a monster, monster effect. effect yep. So you have to preemptively flip it up. But at the same time, that literally cost him the game because... Bro, James has opened that twin yeah. twister an unbelievable amount of times, though, in the I, side I deck. I it's think he was supposed to just hold strike and then try to do a, try to do a protocol, protocol. But he was losing the twin either way. Yeah. Again, we're seeing some bread and butter here. 
Uh, I mean, Jim just wins because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be 8K on board here. Yeah. <sighs> Comboing it. There it is. When you don't want your imprim, so you use it on a kit with nothing to bet. It's not that bad. No, uh, using it on kit's pretty good. Oh wait, wait, no. He, he tried. I think he activated kit. Yeah, activated his kit. Yeah. There's the. Was the kit normal summon? Yes, it was. It was normal summon last turn? It's been on the field for a turn. The kit, yeah, kit was normal summon the turn prior. Yeah, he just didn't do anything with it because he yeah. already used uh, kit earlier in the turn. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I'm not crazy, right? How else was? How else did the other kit get in the graveyard the turn before? Uh, Fractal. Oh, Fractal, right? Yeah. He went Fractal, send kit, send Nerval, add kit, then normal kit, and then, then he passed. And then it got imperm. Yeah, yeah, so imperm, then he passed. passed. Yeah. Yep. yep. Where's the banished pilot? It might be off screen. Might be. It's off screen, I think. Uh, That's a is, Rugal. Where does he banish his card? Oh, my. Yeah, where does he banish his cards at? Why does he. This is kind of weird, right? Oh, they're over on his extra deck, I think, over there. He banishes on top of the extra deck. Oh, why isn't it on the camera? I, I don't know. I, it's... We're able to keep up with it, though. Yeah. I'll tell him to actually move it over. Okay, you want to do that? Yeah. Jeez. Yep, all right, tell him to move the banish pile, yep. Yeah, no, like, like we said, we were able to keep up with it, though. That, that That's exactly the line that happened last time, too. It's it's not been, um, it's been all over the table yeah. really good. There's a Desires. Yes, banish sir. Banish the pan. Draw and some more draw cards. Two. So it's so interesting. He plays with his banish next to his extra deck. That's so weird. I don't, yeah. I don't know anybody that doesn't like that. Pairs them some of the banish pile, literally. <laughs> Draws. I think Lucas might concede if he doesn't have an. Oh, if he can't answer this, he concedes. Marionette. Marionette. Okay. Pretty oh, solid. Oh, watch one of those be strike. It's gonna be just over. Yeah, you can't strike. strike. No, no, you can't. You can't. Can, you can oh, strike it, but it's under protocol. Yeah, it's got protocol. Yeah. Um, that doesn't do anything. It just sets manifestation. Little doesn't do anything. Yeah, this literally does nothing. Yeah, he just says Manny, and he has a, I don't know. I think I'm giving you five gifted subs. I know, I think I'm getting in and cashing in, bro. Thank you. <laughs> anytime, bro, anytime. Second Magic Summon from Grave, that doesn't do anything either. Right, Mario yes. has set a card, but it dies. Uh, Mario Summon back, though. Mario doesn't do anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> she just lose. It only plays a Mystic Mine? Yeah, it doesn't. This game. I haven't seen a Mystic Mine all day today. Yeah. I'm gonna think about it. Entering the battle phase is gonna pop it off there. Chain Armor Doesn't here. even matter, he has Rugal still in the graveyard, which is so you, strong. You, can, you can't use Rugal because you just get protocol Oh, yep, yep, you're right, you're right. All right, I'm being silly. Excuse me. Yeah, set one more, and I get to GG's. Mm. All right, they're in the end phase here. Activate that. Is it Rugal in main phase two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chain protocol. Why would you not actually? Right. You I don't do know. Yeah. Now uh, you do. Nope. No. That's a banish pile. Yeah. Everybody was curious about it. There it is. All right. Yep. Protocol. It's twinned. Probably it's twinned. Yo, I'll lose it. This yeah, it's probably it's probably twin, and then he probably just revolts. This man has seen so many twin twisters all day, bro. I mean, it's literally like J James literally win. Game, I, I think it's game anyways. Yeah, I'm, I'm like having a hard time seeing yeah, where. Yeah, um, literally doesn't matter. Yeah, just revolt during the end phase. Revolt end phase, yeah. End phase. There it is revolt. Yep. 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 Okay. Um. Th there's really no waking the dragon. We we see the deck list. So, Rugal doesn't get destroyed. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, let me tell them because they. Oh, Rugal's protected Amraj. Uh, James. Damn, you guys got better eyes than me. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Doesn't change you much, I guess. It just keeps some an extra dude on the board. Like, thank you very much. But yeah, it's still gonna be able to. It doesn't affect any yeah, or anything. Yeah, literally doesn't matter. But Rugal is protected. 
open deck list or <laughs> okay, so yeah, you guys say anything. Consider the game a draw and go game four. Yeah, okay, Kappa. okay, bro, okay. Okay. I mean, just banish them. I wonder what it was. Probably like a little strike action. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Lilo Lucas has no cards. <laughs> he has no cards. He's got two Lilo, back no row. Cards, One yeah. of them is known. I think it's Manifestation. Yeah, or like that. It's just no it's, cards. It's not enough, bro. It's not enough. Yeah. Unless that other back row is like something ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, wait, why does he banish that? He banished the Manny. Oh, I think he knew what that one was, too. Hey, uh, why did he banish the Unknown? I don't know. Oh, oh twin. Oh, my God. Yeah, look, <laughs> Lucas oh. hangs his head, bro. He knows it's over. Yeah. Flip the spoof. Yeah. Good games. James Frazier, ladies and gentlemen. James Frazier. I'm cashing in. That yes. five gifted sucks. Nah, this is absolutely fast, insane. Bro, I, bro I, double I, twin again. I know it's <laughs> bro, insane, he just draws this twin guy, this all guy, the time. He, he even is in like even twister. in like top four, he drew double twin, right? Yeah, yep. yeah he absolutely is the nuts. twin twister, bro. Oh my god. That's insane, man. Twin, James Frazier, dude. Twisty tees, bro. Veteran in. at the game, everybody knows the name, bro. Great player, dude. Really awesome yeah. to see him in top cut. You're just yep. absolutely plow. Absolutely insane. So he's insane. gonna take home. Two cases of Megatons. Yes, sir. Two cases of those Kitty Tins. Nice. You know what? I, I'll say it, bro. It's been it's been an interesting day, though, man. Yeah. We saw some Altergeist in t in the finals. Yes, Altergeist, sir. bro. What year is it, dude? Wild, yep, man. Yep, yep. No, it's been an incredible tournament here at Origins Game Fair. I hope everybody yeah. genuinely enjoyed the tournament. Um, and everybody had a good time. Again, a couple announcements. We got the uh, the deck list. They are going on Facebook. It oh, will be God, on yes. the PPG Facebook within the next week. Mm -hmm. um, that is something you need to like if you want to keep track of the next events coming up. Um, yeah. A couple other things, you know, uh, if you guys enjoyed the commentary for today, uh, both Pac and myself, we do stream on Twitch on our own. So uh, this loser's giving me five. I'm so rich, bro. Oh this guy's God. got, if you want to check him out, Pac TCG. Yep. If you want to check me out, Nim Nim, you can check me out there. Um, it's my birthday so, uh, yeah. tomorrow. So, I mean, if any other birthday gift, uh, you guys being here, that's more than enough for me. Thank you all for tuning in to the live stream today, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Chat, we got you for a minute here. Did you guys actually enjoy the live stream? Yeah, you guys enjoyed it today? Yeah, yeah, come on, tell me, bro. 30th birthday? That's insane, bro. I am not that he old. He is kind of old, bro. I'm not a geezer, bro. Insane, man. Sir. But yeah, no, I, I genuinely do. There's nothing I wanted to be doing this weekend other than working, bro. I just I, <laughs> get a chance to play Yu-Gi-Oh, commentate Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like, yep. how can I say no, bro? Fun. I got to party with these guys the other day, man. It's just, it's been a good weekend, you know? I can't yeah. complain. Definitely anything here. We got Dan Kirby in the back here working his magic. Yeah, there he is, man. I right, a lot of stuff uh, for PPG for the reels and everything. Content coming out in the future. You guys will start to see. It will not be possible without him as well. Uh, thank you to George Machado, everybody on the Pro Play Games team for holding such a great event. Uh, Origins Game Fair still is going to be sticking around here yep. for tomorrow. Uh, I'm pretty sure we might stick around for a little bit. Just check out what's going on. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe I'll grab some duels, play a couple people. Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah. You, this man brought his 2011 and 2014 deck, bro. I wish, no, I, I, wish I brought something. I, I messed up. Yeah. But, uh, no, it's been, a, it's been a good time. Pack, give us some thoughts, man. Talk um, about I, about I thought this event was really well run. Like, the event was very smooth, like, very, like, quick. I think after every round ended, there was only, like, one minute lag mm -hmm. time. And, like, literally the next round was up. Um, overall, players are great. Uh, I enjoyed watching all these games. Like, I, it was, like, really, really nice. Um... Yeah, so so I have no complaints. I just thought it was like really really cool being able to see everyone come out, play a little bit Yu-Gi-Oh, um, all the different representation. It was sick overall. So mm -hmm. no yeah. complaints. Um, I'm happy. Yeah, it's really nice to see all the people. Yeah. It was it was cool. We got to yeah. see a lot of people actually travel a little bit. Like yeah. Doug, Doug was five hours away, man. He, yeah. he just had he wanted to come out to this event, bro. Literally. Just like the, the lengths people will go to play in paper Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. It's it's just a different experience. We've said yep. it before. And nothing like it. So, yeah, thanks to anybody that actually took the trip out here. Uh, if yep. you drove a little bit, I uh, hope you enjoyed the fair and um, you enjoyed playing with us. Uh, we will – I don't know when the next PPG event is. I know it's in the books. We're talking about yep. it, getting it sorted out. Again, mm -hmm. that's something you got to follow the Twitter. you got to follow the Facebook. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's your best bet to get all the information up to date for everything. Yep. Um, thanks, everybody, for coming out, buying cards and everything. Again, yep. if you guys want to follow Pack and I, we are on Twitch. We're also on Twitter. What's your Twitter handle? Is it Pack Official TCG? Uh, yeah, Pack Official TCG. Yeah, yeah. His is Pack Official TCG, and then mine's the name. Then yep. you Doug, Doug did not top unfortunately. No, no, bro. Man, Altergeist Master, dude. He's probably yeah. looking at this now, and he's he's proud. He is proud, dude. But uh, no, it's, it's been a great tournament. Thank you for everybody for coming up and yep. saying hello, just being friendly. Yeah. Um, can't wait to see everybody at the next one, you know? Exactly. Any closing thoughts, Pat? Uh, that's pretty much it. It was nice meeting all of you guys, hanging out with you all today, and um, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. All Peace. Right, guys. Enjoy um, the event. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the day, everybody. Yep. Yo, the shout-out, my man, Doug. Okay, yeah, everybody, exactly. thanks for tuning in. And last thing I got to say, bro, every single one of you, you're all banned, bro. <laughs>
Thank you.